when we grow canola, uh, brassica, uh, that particular species of plant is not a host for mycorrhizae. And that, that plant, when it's growing, mycorrhizae, the natural population in the soil, struggles. You know, obviously all of a sudden it can't form this relationship. It cannot ingrain in the rooting system, meaning mycorrhizae, a living organism, it needs carbohydrates, it needs energy to survive. Now it's in an environment where it can't, <laughs> it can't move on, right? And can only even, can emit a toxin to wipe that population out. So for us, if a third of all of our acres see canola, maybe once every three years, or in a lot of cases, once every two years, our populations here have been depleted and so to have an opportunity to actually reintroduce that re-inoculate our soil with that organism um, it gives us a chance for all these other crops that we grow to regain that that uh, that value that benefit to pull in nutrients and water uh, allowing them to be healthy and strong and and reach their their potential genetic potential yeah you know i think if you went back Call it even going, say you went back 20 years and you surveyed producers. And 20 years ago, there was probably more flax being grown. One thing producers knew then for sure, absolutely, they knew for sure, is we do not ever want to grow flax on canola stubble. They never knew why. They just knew it was never a good practice because flax yields would suffer. But what was going on, flax is also another crop that loves mycorrhizae. And when you put it on canola stubble, um, it's not there. Today, we now have these same conversations with corn. Lots of corn going on canola stubble, uh, just because it makes sense, again, dark, warm soil. And yet everybody's aware that that's not a great practice. And, and so here we are, now we're talking not just flax or corn, we're also talking soybeans, we're talking pulses, for the fact that all these crops really enjoy the symbiosis with mycorrhizae. And, and for us, at the end of the day, it's we're not new out of the gate anymore. I mean, we've had a number of years of experience and, and customers that have done their own work and done their own trials and, and, and without a doubt, I mean, the successes continue to show that um, this organism is important to plants. This organism will allow plants to produce more yield.